What's up, everybody? This is Tadpole Superhero, and today we are finishing up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I keep doing this. This little flick here. But anyway, <laughs> my hands are restless. I want to race. We are finishing up the new DLC uh, with with uh, with with the Super Bell Cup. We're gonna play as Isabel, and we're gonna use the City Tripper. I'm not excited about it, and you'll see why. I've I've been trying this bike out. Sorry, I needed a drink of water. Um, I've been trying this bike out, and it is interesting to control. We'll see how well this goes. Uh, let's get an acceleration glider on there. So we're moving on to the Bell Cup, which I find to be more challenging. Which is funny because I have three stars on it, but I find it to be more challenging than the uh, Crossing Cup. So we'll see how it goes. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. I'm having a wonderful day today. I hope you are as well. It was fun. It was fun. We're playing some more of the DLC. Heading to Neo Bowser City, which was first in Mario Kart 7. And it has gotten one heck of a facelift. Whoa. Uh, but I do have a bit of a problem with how they remade this track, which is how I feel about a lot of the retro tracks, is that they look fantastic. <laughs> they look fantastic, but... Uh, What's the word? Oh, they tend to make them easier, and I, 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 I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, there are some hazards in this track that that only exist in Mario Kart 7, so they actually took out some of the street hazards. This was a very challenging track in 7, and it still is kind of, it still is a bit of a challenge. Uh, there are some, there are some pretty challenging turns, uh, but no, they, they, they have made it easier, which is, which is very unfortunate. Oh, oh man, yeah, that that turn is. It takes it takes a bit of getting used to that that set of turns right there back, uh, without the rails or anything. That's a tough section. There's a shortcut here. I'm probably gonna flub it up, cause that's what I do really well. Oh, I did it! Cool. Oh goodness, goodness gracious. Oh, I thought I thought I was far enough to get away from the blast. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. I'm still in first. Oh jeez, what am I doing? What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? I don't know. Oh gosh, this thing. The problem I have with the city tripper is that it it, it really does drift. It like slides, slides way out. So it's it's a bit of a challenge to uh to drive i'm having trouble finding words today i don't know why oh here we go all right let's let's not do the shortcut that time that is a nice shortcut though hitting hitting that hitting that air boost doing some gliding let's throw this back let's send send a present back to somebody whoever wants it and we got somebody sweet no, don't hit the walls, Isabel. Have you guys played Animal Crossing New Leaf? Uh, that's actually the only Animal Crossing I've ever played. And I don't know, I'm not a big Animal Crossing person. I like the games. Uh, well, I like the one game I've played. It's just it's just not my thing, which is funny because I love the Harvest Moon games. Uh, but for whatever reason, I don't know. Animal Crossing, not really my thing. Especially because, uh, <laughs> oh, especially because you'll, uh, I can't even find the words. What was it? What am I trying to say? Especially because you kind of, you kind of have to play it like regularly. Uh, it's a cool feature having it exist in real time. It's just not for me. And there's just not enough interesting for me to do. That's, that's interesting for me to keep me occupied from a gameplay standpoint. But I like it. I, I got quite a bit of. Quite a bit of fun out of it. Ribbon Road. This was in Mario Kart Super Circuit as well. They brought back two Game Boy Advance tracks for this DLC pack, which is great. I really want to get Super Circuit on... Oh, I think I messed it up. Yep, blew out my engine. I, th I really want to get Super Circuit on a uh, virtual console. Because, like I said, I haven't played a lot of the Mario Kart games. Dang it. Messed that turn up. I haven't played a lot of the Mario Kart games, so I, I do want to get Mario Kart Super Circuit and DS. 
They're both on Virtual Console now. I don't want to get the original. Um, eh. It's just, you know, I mean, it's kind of cool, but from what I've seen, I mean, even the retro remakes of the of the tracks are kind of boring. <laughs> of the SNES tracks are kind of boring. So, I'm not really... Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. I'm not too enthused about getting getting the original Mario Kart, so I probably won't. I'm going to get hit by one of my own shells, probably. Dang it. I'm not doing so well. And Isabel, you'll hear, she makes the... She does the little chatter chatter noises that she does in New Leaf with her little gibbery voice, which is really cute. All right, let's... Oh, that was that was just not not good for anybody. Oh, this is this is terrible. Wow. Bad time to get a piranha plant. <laughs> oh, we're in sixth place. This is not going well. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I'm having so much trouble. With this uh, this section of the track being a ribbon and you're actually it's actually kind of moving, um, you can get you can get jump boosts off of it. Oh my gosh! I was trying to hit that shortcut. The shortcuts in this track are actually pretty easy. They're both along that section. Otherwise, it's just corner cuts, like right here. Ah, <laughs> we both took it. Um, but otherwise, actual shortcuts are along the the ribbon section, the blue ribbon section. There are two of them, and they're pretty they're pretty cool. They're actually fairly easy to hit, unless you're me today, having strange problems for strange reasons. Oh. Of course, I don't like this vehicle, and Isabel is a very, very light character. I'm not sure how I feel about that. No, not gonna hit that shortcut. I was trying to hit that first shortcut. Darn it all. Yeah, let's just let's just keep that shield. This is going to make people's lives miserable. Sweet. Alright, there's that shortcut. Awesome. Which, this isn't going to help us very much. And we're in 6th place and it's the last lap. And we're not going to get up to 5th. So, alright. Cool. <laughs> so that's Ribbon Road. It's pretty cool. I like the music. It's very uh, relaxing. Just this nice little guitar, guitar song going on. Guitar. Why am I saying it like that? Nice little guitar song going on in in the back. I like it. It reminds me of uh, Toad Harbor. They have similar, similar, similar. They have similar music. Super Bell Subway. This track is really cool because it does some cool things to kind of open up the Mario Kart universe, if you want to call it that. Uh, it has a map, and a lot of these subway stops lead to other tracks like Yoshi Valley, like Music Park. Uh, and there's a map that actually shows all of the tracks in this entire game are connected. Apparently they did a, a similar thing with Double Dash. Connecting, you know, basically a Mario Kart shared universe. <laughs> shared universes are all the rage these days, right? But, uh, oh, that was bad. That was just not, not good typing. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, nice. But it's really cool because it actually connects... The entire world and it makes me it makes me want a uh, Mario like oh what would you call it a Mario like an open world Mario game set in this giant city because it is this is a huge city uh, and you could like take the subway to different areas take the subway to different different stages where you'd find stars so it'd be sort of uh, Super Mario 64 esque but it, you know I mean the hub world would be much bigger. And you'd go, you'd have like a subway system and other kinds of transportations, like a ferry, to take you to different stages. It would be so cool. And I mean, aside from Sunshine, which is sort of like Super Mario 64, uh, we haven't really had a game in that style in Mario, aside from Mario 64. So I'd really like to see something like that, because uh, every game after it has been much more linear. Even the levels have been much more linear and much more focused on this is what you're doing in this in this stage. I, you know, and I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Mario Galaxy is fantastic. I just would like to see a game in the Mario 64 style again because this is cool. All right, let's hit that mushroom. Come on, come on, come on. That'll make up for the red shell. Sweet. Anyway, this that's why Super Bell Subway really excites me because just it. it gets me excited about a game that doesn't exist. 
but that hopefully will exist sometime in the near future. Maybe the next 3D, oh gosh, maybe the next 3D Mario game will be sort of this open world, hub world kind of Mario game with a bunch of stages, Mario 64 style, you know? That would be cool. That would be super cool. But yeah, this is a pretty cool track. A pretty cool track. Mostly, mostly at least for me, because of the, the world building connotations associated with. But it's a fun one. I and mean, you can race across the top of subway trains and stuff. It's cool. So we did it. We came in first. We're getting redemption. Now if we can come in first here, we will get that gold trophy. Although we've already gotten it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see, let's see how we do. Big Blue. So they brought in yet another F-Zero track. This is a sectional, which means it's not laps, it's just beginning to finish. Um, and it is a beautiful, beautiful, stunning track with awesome music. And it's just, it's so exciting. And it just makes me want an F-Zero game. Oh, again with the engine. Dang it. That music, listen to it, it is fantastic. I just, I just wiped out on my own banana. That was, that was good. Good job, Izzy. Good freaking job, Izzy. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, because the cool thing would be, you know, and the reason why I think uh, F-Zero is such an important franchise for Nintendo, should be, they're not really putting a big priority on it but they should is because it's a very it's it's like this super hard racer whereas mario kart is much more laid back i mean it gets really chaotic and nuts but it's it's much more laid back and it's you know it, it it's more open to casual casual players and for parties and stuff uh f-zero is this like hardcore super challenging racer and i think nintendo could do with having that i think you know it's not too big of a problem to have two different types of racers uh, on Nintendo consoles, you know? That's what I think, anyway. Yeah, the final lap. Did you hear that announcer? That was pretty cool. Alright, let's see what we can do to get to first. Let's see what we can do. If we can do anything. I don't know. You never know. Yes, we got him. Awesome. Come on. Come on, Izzy. Come on, Izzy. You got this. Oh, no. I should have kept that shell. I'm not going to come in first. I'm not going to come in first. Oh, I might. Oh, no. No. I'm going to come in, like, fifth. Okay, fourth. Well, that didn't go so well. All right. We did it, though. We, we finished the race. That's a, That was a terrible finish. But we did it. <laughs> that was fun. I like that track a lot. So anyway, that finishes us off for the DLC. What we haven't touched on is 200cc mode. We are going to do that in the next few videos. I'll also have some more Metroid Other M coming. That's another important thing that should be happening. <laughs> we'll have some more Metroid Other M going on soon as well. But we're going to do several videos with 200 cc we'll do uh probably one or two bonus videos after that as well uh we'll see if we, we can get into a room online at some point as well play online we came in second overall <laughs> but that's the plan we're gonna see if we can we can uh what's i doing we're, we got a few more bonus mario kart videos coming up and then and then we'll move on from mario kart 8 for a while but this has been a lot of fun going through all the tracks. We're going to go through 200cc. We're going to play some online multiplayer. And it's going to be tons of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think, what your favorite tracks are, what your favorite characters are. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.